Hi guys, welcome back to the Little Peace Heaven Farm. And today we're going to revisit the canning lids that um, I showed you two different videos back in the summer. One with the old vintage glass lids and reusing the metal lids with the Tatler rings. Okay, it's been four or five months since uh, I canned the water. So let me show you. This is the glass lid, steel filled. Both of them are. Here's the other one. And the one with the Tatler. Both jars. Okay. So, I'm going to open one of them up each. Show you guys how easy they are. Let me move the camera. Okay. Well, you guys know I have this handy dandy prior. So, we're going to open up. This jar here that has the, both the jars have the tatler, but we're just going to open up one. And there's the tatler ring. We peel it off for you. It really worked itself in there, which I think is awesome. Here you go. There's the Tatler ring with the regular canner. So they work using the old lids. <laughs> now I got water to drink. Oh, uh, spring water tastes great. Okay, with the uh, canning jar lids. These Prestos. I don't know if you could, if the camera will pick it up. Let me find it. They normally have like a groove. Mm, I don't think these guys do. Some do and some don't. All right. So, what we're going to do is take our butter knife and we're going to go between the seal and the lip of the jar. This is going to be a challenge getting this guy open. I don't think this would work, but... There 
we go. You gotta wiggle it in there to get in that lid. Okay. There we go. And then that's the Presto lid and the rubber for it. Boy, that had a suction. Okay, guys. So that's that with those guys. And while I have you here, I'm going to do a little bit of unboxing. I've already uh, really unboxed them and, and checked them out. But, you know... With the shortage of the lids that we're having last year and this year with people saying that they can't find them yet because they haven't released them yet talk to you better this way so you know i'm not really a fan of the tatler lids but uh i've been going on auction sites different places i found these and i found large mouth <laughs> vintage glass canning lids I found them in ball and presto so I've got what is it seven almost 70 large uh, wide mouth glass lids already and the tatler rubbers do fit see see where I'm going mm hmm well I'm going to start canning with my glass lids and save the metal lids I have for um, jars that I give away to people um, like for Christmas gifts and stuff like that I'll be canning some stuff with with the uh, metal lids and but the most of the stuff that I'll be canning for Farron and I are, would be in the glass lids and and so far I got the same amount of rims or bands whatever ever you want to call them with the wide mouth and they fit in like this so I'll be doing with those and then I also have some more regular mouth and I have a total now like 115 of uh, these. This is an Atlas. And I have them in Atlas, Presto, I have them in Ball, I have them in uh, is it Jeanette? Yeah, Jeanette uh, Mason lid. So, yeah, and I have a, I ordered uh, some regular size mouth Tatler rings for these, and some of them did come with new rubbers, so I have those to the side. So, yeah, I have over, I think over 115 of these for the small mouths. The regular size, I should say. And, uh, you can find them on, uh, eBay, uh, Etsy, um, there was a, 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 a site I came across called Bonanza. 
Uh, you can find them on there. Um, there's another one I just found today. Oh, what is it? Mercy, I think it's called. Um, I think that's what it's called. But uh, if you looked up on um, any of your search engines that he uses, he used Bing, Google, one of those, any any search engine will find them. Just type in vintage glass lids. And you just keep scrolling through. You, you'll come across eBay. It's a... Uh, um, Amazon doesn't have any, but they do show up because it of the lid situation. It'll pick up the lid. Um, uh, what's the other one? It starts with a P. Uh, posh. 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 Mark or something like that. That what that was another one I found today. Um, you'll you'll find those too. Just keep searching, and you can and they'll try to put them up there pretty high. The wide mouths I found them anywhere between five dollars and fourteen dollars a piece. So, and the ones that are $14, they also come with the lid, um, with the ring. So, a lot of them will have, um, the bands with them. So, I have plenty of bands for the small ones, for the regular mouth, and for the large. So, right now, I'm just shopping for just the the lids themselves but if I do come across some that are reasonable I will um, buy them up so um, yeah competition <laughs> okay so anyway um, that's that in the the regular mouth ones I found them anywhere from $2.99 up to I want to say $25 a lot and usually the lots are anywhere between six pieces six lids to 76 so um, it all depends and people look at the pictures okay look at them uh, make sure they don't have any chips read what they have written um, I had to uh, contact a few people and to let them know that their packaging wasn't too great and I had had some that were broken so um, yeah they refunded part of the money I spent which is cool um, and then I just went back online and bought some more that I found but anyway um, that's it that on this video so, using the Tatler ring and your old lids, even though we're not supposed to use them, some do, I'm not saying it's right or wrong, something I don't really do, but if push comes to shove, I know they work. So, um, using the Tatler uh, gasket with the old lid, it works. And using the glass lids the vintage glass lids and to tell you the truth to be honest with you they have a better seal than the metal lids that we've been using and buying this right here it's not as thick as it used to be and even with you know with putting the the tatler gasket on there this lid my opinion had a better seal but I prefer the seal that it comes with with this glass lid it's a lot stronger and uh, I liked it so come on to to my next adventures 
of canning with glass lids. So uh, I'll be sharing that with you guys. And, um, you know, it's an investment. So, I mean, they, they can be spendy. Like I said, the, the regular mouth glass canning lids are anywhere from two ninety nine up to like $25 a lot. Or, you know, if there's big lots that they have on the auction sites, they're going to have you bid. And then it's going to be a bidding war. And then you're going to have a set of price in your head. How, how much do you want to spend? Um, I don't want you guys getting <laughs> financial ruin over glass lids. But um, that's another avenue. Um, they work. And um, I'm tinkering, touring with the... Thinking about maybe buying a couple of those old... Uh, uh, what are they, they call bell wire type of jars you know with the wire that holds the lid on top thinking about doing that uh, maybe playing with one this year and see how it, see how it works you know uh, can some water and let it sit for six months see how it does and uh, maybe revisit the old ways you never know I mean that's what I'm thinking I mean you got Tatler and Har Harvest Guard reusable lids, right? It's the same concept as the glass lids. Yes, glass lids will break. They chip. That's the chance I'm going to take. But they have a better seal. So, um, yeah. Alright, guys. This <laughs> is a long enough video. Um, anyway. I'll talk to you guys on the next one. You guys have a great one, and thanks for coming by the farm tonight. Take care.